On this week's Home and Away episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV, we're talking about sewing. Yes, that classic pastime that our grandmothers used to love is now becoming quite popular amongst all generations. So today we're excited to be meeting with sewing expert Denise Wilde who'll be sharing some tips, tricks and the latest trends of sewing this season. So Denise, tell us a little bit about Love Sewing. Sure. Well, lovesewing.com is a website where we publish daily articles about fashion and about style, sewing how-tos and tips. We also teach classes at the sewing studio. So when it comes to sewing, Denise, what are some tips that you can give us beginners out there? So if you're starting to sew for the first time or if you haven't done it in a while, the best thing to do is start with a good machine. If you have a brand new machine or if you have one that has been passed on to you or you have in your basement, you want to make sure that it's threaded properly and that you've loaded your bobbin and threaded that properly. That's one of the biggest challenges. Once you have your machine and you're ready to go, you want to start off with a very basic stitches, basic seam finishes, and definitely basic projects. So are there any different things that are happening in with sewing? Are there modern trends with sewing as well? Absolutely. You know, much like everything else, it's taken from the runways and then translated into sewing, into home decor. So what we're seeing right now are a bunch of colors for spring. There's a great play on watercolor um, type prints on fabrics. You see a lot of contrasting grays and whites, blacks and whites, uh, and also a lot of embroidery. Valentino had some embroidery too. So you can translate that to sewing, whether you're doing fabric fashion sewing and doing garments or whether you're doing home decor. What are some easy to do projects that we can do at home to, yeah. to keep the costs low? Sure. Whenever you're redoing your home or whether you're freshening up for a different season, by bringing in fabrics and textiles and working with soft furnishings, it's a great way to update your home at a very low cost. Mm -hmm. So you could change out the drapes, which is a bit of a bigger project, right. or you can easily work with toss cushions, you know, um, throws, toss cushions, that kind of thing. They're easy to make covers for, and then you can swap them in with the trends. You can bring in bold colors as well, which is something that people are often hesitant to do. But with a cushion, you can play with it and just change up the room instantly. And that's great, because yeah. we as South Asians love our bold colors. Yeah, yeah, and it's so easy to do with toss cushions. You can either look for a bold print or you can do multiple solids on different, different cushions. So Denise, I'm actually excited about this because we're gonna get down and dirty. We and are. You're gonna teach me how to sew yep. today. I'm gonna so. show you how to do a great basic hand stitch. It's called a slip stitch. It's probably one of my favorite stitches to do. It's so versatile. It's very easy to do. You're gonna start with a, a double threaded needle. So what you'll do first is uh, come from underneath the fold and bring okay. the needle up through the fold. That way we're gonna hide the knot. What you're gonna do is go down into the fabric uh, just pick up a couple threads of fabric and then you're going to pull that as well. Then we're going to enter the fold right where we came up. Okay. And you do what's called traveling through the fold. So we're going to slide the needle along about an inch or so mm -hmm. uh, through the fold. And you'll just repeat this over and over again. When you choose a thread that matches, you won't be able to see it on the other side. For more on Denise Wilde and Love Sewing, you can visit lovesewing.com. And of course, for our show, you can visit us at anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel. And don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.